Daily Fire episode 339. If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire episode 339. Uh, another tweet from this morning. Change is hard. Being different is hard. There's nothing comfortable about it. It's way easier to stay the same. This can really work towards a little bit of everything, but we'll keep it in the category for like losing weight and just changing your mindset and just really what we do here at Corey G Fitness. It's way easier to just continue down the path. It's way easier to buy bigger pants. It's way easier to buy a bigger shirt. It's way easier to have way more excuses. Just say, oh, it's my genetics. Oh, you know what? It's because my husband does this or my wife does that or my kids are this and now I'm 40 and blah, 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 blah. It's just way easier to do that. You know what's really difficult is telling everybody around you, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to set my alarm early. I'm going to work on myself. No, I'm not going out to happy hour on Tuesday. No, I'm not. No is a powerful fucking word because you're putting up boundaries. You're putting up boundaries because you're saying, I want to fucking get better. Do you hear me? Like, I want to get fucking better. So no, I'm sorry. I cannot go on Tuesday night and drink bourbon. I might see you on Friday night. Because that's the fucking guidelines I'm putting on myself because I am trying to get better. Once again, I'm going to read it. Change is hard. You have to change your habits. You have to change the mentality. Being different, being yourself is difficult. And there's nothing comfortable about it. What's comfortable is just being okay and staying the same. And everyone falls into that all the time. The key is you have to remind yourself that there's more. The key is that you have to remind yourself that what's possible. The key is you have to remind yourself that there's more that I could be pushing and doing and that there's a fulfillment on that other side if you do that. And that discipline is not something that is being taken from you. It's actually your life being given back to you. And so it's really a difficult concept because people get super put off by it initially. And the reality is, is like when people would come to uh, work out with me back in the day, they would be like, well, I, I want to work out, but I'm not interested in changing my diet. I'm, I'm not, I'm not living and not being able to eat pizza as often as I want. And I just like to drink bush light every fucking day and I'm not changing anything. They would come with that mentality straight down the pipe. And I would be like, all right, cool. We'll just don't expect any results then. That's it. Like if you're not willing, there's multiple pillars of success here. If you're not willing, you're really set on that you're not fucking changing one of them because of what? You're scared? I mean, I don't know why you'd be scared to try to change it, but you're scared to, to getting better? Like you'll, you'll, you're scared of accountability? Like what the fuck are you scared of? You can't follow like basic guidelines or rules? Like check your fucking self for a second. Like what are you so mad about? You're mad that you can't eat whatever you want all the time and get the results? Are you mad that the way the way you feel? Like, yeah, it'd be fucking awesome. I wish I could eat whatever the fuck I want all the fucking time. But guess what? News fucking flash. You can't. You can't. It's just the way it is. And by the way, it's health and fitness. You want health is the wealth. You should be dialing in so you can be here for your family. So the reality is, is like, yeah, this shit is difficult. Yeah, no one wants to fucking do it, but you have to. It's just what it is. Or you're signing up for something different later in life. Here's what it is. You're either signing up to be challenged right now with the opportunity to maybe have less challenges in the future, meaning sickness, or you're signing up to be comfortable right now and you're going to be really uncomfortable in the future. Because you're going to have a fucking host of problems. And even if you bust your ass in your discipline now, you're not even guaranteed that it's going to be better in the future. Because shit happens to people all the time. But if you don't sign up to fucking try anything now, you're definitely going to have fucking problems. It's just the way it is. Especially with hereditary problems. Especially with the way that food is now. And so I would urge you to, if you have this mentality, please just listen to me and say, all right. I'm going to try to change a few things. I'm going to try to feel a little bit better. 
I know it's going to be difficult. I, I know it's going to be hard, but let me give it a try. So maybe I can add some years to my life. All right, Daily Fire episode 339. On to the next one.